everybody and welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Today we're gonna be sharing 10 gift ideas for Mother's Day. And the best part is that it's completely free. Woo! This is amazing! So, also wanna dedicate this video to my mother. Shout out to mommy. Mommy, you are amazing. I love you so much. You are my first love, my first best friend. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't because of you. Literally, you are awesome you're the best blessing that god has ever given me and i could be talking about you for hours because i love you so much but it's gonna take over the whole video so i'll just say that to you in person and also in all our video goals so let's get ready to rumble for a day but before that shout out to all the mothers out there you are the backbone of everything and you make this job look so easy and it's the hardest most difficult job in the whole wide world so thank you all for giving us a life and for being so awesome. We love you. Well, 10 ideas, so let's go into that. 10 ideas that we have for Mother's Day, give ideas completely free. And these are just ideas that I have, so it doesn't mean that you're gonna be liking all of them, but at least maybe there's something that you might like from here and you can implement in Mother's Day. First one is super easy, just to do cleaning the house. So, I know that my mom and any other mom out there, and if I were a mom also, I would not want to wake up on Mother's Day and have to do the dishes and clean the floor and do laundry and all that stuff. So if you know Mother's Day is coming up, well, you can go ahead a few days before that, clean the dishes, clean also the, the house, you know, do the laundry, all that stuff. And then that day when she wakes up, she doesn't have a checklist of stuff that she needs to do. Everything is done for her. That's the best gift ever. <laughs> Another thing could be, so the second one will be to uh, have breakfast, breakfast in bed. And I'm gonna share in here a few pictures of breakfast because I love playing with food. Everybody in my family knows that. And so I have a few breakfasts that I have taken pictures. <laughs> so you have a few pancakes in here and breakfast that you can also take as ideas that you can play and then also do it for your mom. Uh, and when I say breakfast in bed, it doesn't necessarily need to be breakfast. You can also have maybe some dinner that you want to cook later on in the day or something that she really wants to have. Maybe you can have it then order there, but that will imply then that you have to then buy and spend money. So if you don't, you, you cannot spend money, then you can go ahead and cook something, make up something with whatever you have at home. We're trying to, some people can actually afford doing stuff and some people cannot have that to go out and spend money. So use what you have at home. I know that your mom will be happy no matter what. The most important thing is to be there for your mom and we're trying with our actions to show them our affection. So number three can be to give her an old picture in a cute frame. I love that because we all have cute pictures when we were a kid, eating food, doing all kinds of stuff, playing in the park. And those are pictures that are represent a good memory from when we were a child. So you can have those pictures putting in a nice frame and it can be then a frame that you have at home or if not, you can then make up a frame. So just use a piece of paper, cut the shape of the picture and then paint it in the outside of that picture frame that you just made up and put a little string. And that could be then um, you know, your picture frame. Also, if you don't have an old picture that you have at home of when you were a kid and that you can give them to your mom, 
you can then print it out to Walgreens or to Walmart or any place that prints out pictures and they um, then go to the dollar store and buy like three dollars you already have a nice combo that you can give to your mother right but if not as we said use whatever you have at home then number four number four can be another thing to pamper our mothers so that could be then doing a manicure or doing a pedicure now when i say manicure and pedicure i know that there's a whole bunch of things that you can use that fancy stand and exfoliating cream and all kinds of stuff and there's even the equipment that you can use and you can maybe pay somebody to um some place to actually do that manicure and pedicure but if not something very simple that you can do at home just you know warm up some water and have it then uh, temperature and then put your mom's hands in there or your feet the feet of your mom over there and then you can give her a massage with some cream or some um, you know soap that you might have at home and she will be more than delighted to have then a manicure or pedicure some people do enjoy I enjoy to have a massage <laughs> it doesn't matter who is giving me a massage on my feet but some people do not like to have a massage on their feet or hands, so that's up to your mom. So you can check that with your mom first. Some moms might not like to be touched at all in their feet or hands, so that you need to check first with your mom. Then um, we have number five, LB to have flowers. You know that I love flowers, I love plants. Not everybody likes plants, so you might have a plant at home that you can propagate and that just takes a cutting and then put it in water and you can propagate it. We have been sharing in here many propagations that we have done before. A thing that I like a lot because I love practical gifts, practical gifts. So many people and especially moms that they're cooking a lot, they might enjoy a veggie garden or especially a herb garden. So you can take basil, which is so easy to propagate, Take a cutting of your basil, put it in water, and there you go. You have now a new plant that you can give to your mom. The same you can do then with rosemary. You can also maybe get an, a little tiny tray of veggie and, and also herbs that she might enjoy. Anything that actually she can actually use at home. But I know that some moms actually do enjoy flowers that are fresh flowers. So you can, if you have a flowers at your garden that you are growing, like tulips for example this is the season you can go ahead and cut some of those tulips and have it then ready in fresh water for your mom so that is awesome things that you have at home now i do not like to receive flowers that are cut that are dead so i mean i i enjoy them but it's not my preference i enjoy better live flowers <laughs> so always check then you know indirect questions with your mom do you like flowers what is your favorite your your favorite flowers um is there a flower in the whole wide world that you like the most stuff like that silly questions and then you can get your answer more or less for the flowers if you don't have any flowers meaning flowers that you can cut in your garden or something that you can propagate at home by cuttings then you can create your own flower with napkins so that's something that i want to show you today because you can create this beautiful rose that we have over here and this is with napkins and you can do it within a few seconds so let's go ahead and do this flower and then we'll continue them with our number six so let's go ahead and do our flower with napkins so cute we're gonna be doing our beautiful rose like the rose that we have over here and what I'm using is a tablecloth napkin, but you can also use a paper napkin as well. So you can follow the same instructions, which are only a few seconds. So pay attention to it. And you can also do it with your paper napkin. Okay, let's go ahead. You're gonna take your napkin and the inside goes up, the inside goes up. Now you take the end of the napkin and you're gonna put it to the other end. So I'm gonna be making a triangle. As you can see over here, I took my napkin, I did a triangle, but I left like an inch over here. So you're gonna be leaving some space in here and you're gonna see why. This is gonna be for our petals. You take then the end over here and we're gonna be rolling it toward the front, rolling this end toward that side, but leaving some space at the end over there. So we're gonna be rolling it.
leaving some space in here at the end, something like this. And we're gonna take this end over here and we're gonna be rolling it over there. So let's go ahead and roll the end toward the center, like so. Once we get to this and we have like a quarter part over there, we're gonna take this quarter and we're gonna put it right under here. So we're gonna be tying it over here. Tucking it in there at the end. So cool. That way you don't need to use no paper clips, no nothing. The whole napkin holds itself. Now the end that we have over here, this thing that is looking up, those are gonna be then your leaves. So you take that and you open it flat. I have one leaf and the other one is gonna be the other leaf. So open them up and now you go ahead and flip this and there's your rose, so beautiful. Look at your cute roses. And I'm gonna keep on making some roses. So that would be something super cute that you can give them for your mom and put it then as a decoration then for your table. And I'm sure that your mom would appreciate it and love it so much. And it just made within a few seconds, we made it. So there you have your rose. And remember, you can use your paper napkins as well. Now you know how to make your own rose using just a paper napkin or using a tablecloth napkin like the one that I show you. So you're an expert and within a few seconds. The next one will be the number six. So number six will be to do something that she's really looking forward to. So this, we would need then to have a conversation with her mom. So you can call her, you can then talk to her, sit down if you have the privilege of having your mom right next if to you. If you do have the privilege of having your mom with you, then you can sit down and talk to her to, you know, ask her, hey mom, this is something that you're looking forward to. Is there something that you want to do? Do you want to go hiking? Do you want to go um, walk by the beach? Do you want to go get a snow cone? Is there something that you want to do, like watching a movie? Something that she's really looking forward to doing that day. And then you go ahead and do that that day, right? So things are, are free, go hiking, um, go by, by the beach, uh, have a, a help her in the garden. Maybe she just wanted to, you know, help her with cleaning some stuff, helping with doing something in the house. So that is your opportunity to help her with those items that she has and, or things that she's really looking for. Some things, if you do have the privilege of actually doing some extra and spending some money, something that she really, really might want to do, then cool. But if not, then there's always some other options of things that you can do. And we just said some examples. Now, moms, you also need to help us in here because I know that many times moms, when you ask, say, hey, mom, is there something that you're looking for? And my mom has done that to me before. And they go and tell you, no, you know, I don't need anything. I don't really don't, don't want anything. I, there's always something that we can do. And we are trying to show you with our affections how much we love you because you guys and you girls have done so much for us. So of course we want to, you know, compensate you by just pampering you one day. So help us out. There's something that we can do. So let us, let us, you know, pamper you, even if it is just doing some coffee in the morning. So anything like that. So now have a conversation with your mom and check that out. It could be even reading a book or just having some meditation time or helping out with starting some exercise. Maybe that's the day to start doing some exercise. Let's do a program of exercise together. Now the number seven, um, it could be this. This is something that I do a lot for my mom because I live in Maryland, in Maryland and she lives in Puerto Rico. So um, I do travel um, sometimes to go see her. Usually we travel once a year, but with all the things of the pandemic, we really haven't been able to do everything as we usually do. But anyways, one of the things that I used to do and I still do is I do videos for her. So what you will do is take a recollection of different pictures, old pictures that you have throughout the years, 
and then you take them together and do a video for her and then put in the background some music or you can even talk over the video and say you know why you love her so much why she's so special to you and i love that idea because then your mom whenever she misses you she has that video that she can replay back again and watch over all those memories and then she can say like hey you know she she really or he really you know remembers all those memories and treasures those memories and you know we had such a great time so things that really mean a lot to you that is a great way to you know show your appreciation to your mom with something so simple of doing a video and sometimes it might take a long time to do a video i have even spent two days or even a week doing a video if you really want a good really good one with all pictures that you're trying to look everywhere so that could be a really meaningful um, gift which it didn't cost you anything only some hard work and that way your mom will have it forever and it's something that you all can treasure a lot i know that even i cry sometimes watching the videos that i've done for my mom before I love her so much and I am not gonna cry in here because I already have cried before just thinking that I was gonna be doing a video for Mother's Day so when we keep on going um, number eight can be to do a storybook so this goes along with the video so if you don't know how to do a video um, using then you know an app or using um, you can use iMovie just use anything that you're, you know, any video that you have, um, a photo, photo book, anything that you can use as an editing tool. Um, but if you don't know how to use those, then you can do then a storybook. What you would do is pictures that you have already printed, or if not, then you can go ahead and select some pictures and print them out in a, in a store. That would imply that you would need to then spend money. So we're always going with the first option where you have at home. So pictures that you have, then you print them or you haven't already printed and then take a notebook, an empty notebook and, or a notepad and then um, glue those pictures in different pages. And in each page, you write then a little story of what happened that day, how you felt, how you remembered that. And then you say, you know, how meaningful that day was for, your, for you and for the family and how do you recall it? and that your mom will have it forever and it will be amazing because every time that she misses you then she can go back again into that that notebook and not that notepad and you know recall that now of course because this is something that we're talking about for i this is if you have your mom right there next to you then it would not cost you anything just using the resources that you have at home but if your mom is far away like my mom then it will cost you then to send it to them so you will have to send it in a package. Now, another thing, number nine, and we're almost done. So number nine is if your mom is far away, it will be then to send her a package. So now for this, it will definitely be you spending money. So I think that this is the only one that we have about, you know, spending money. So we said for the package, it could be just the, the book that we said before, the storybook, or you can send the video in a USB file or the picture frame that we mentioned before, all the things that we mentioned, you can also send them. Of, of, of doing that pampering of the massage, which I know that my mom loves a, loves a massage. But another thing that you can do, it will be there's um, different companies like Groupon and companies that you can then um, order a certain item like Groupon has for manicure, pedicure, going to a restaurant, um, doing a massage and such and such and then your mom can print it out at home or having her phone and show it into the place and she can get that massage or she can get some stuff and I have we have used that before but again this is the only option that we're talking about that would require then for you to spend some money out of your pocket so if you don't have that option the number 10 will be the last one and this is a goodie I have done this one a lot and this was a idea that Justin reminded me, so I love it. And this is to do a, a coupon book. So you go, go ahead and take a little nap, a little, <laughs> little napkin. You take a little book um, or a notepad 
or just pieces of paper and staple them all together, right? And then draw however you want as most accurate as an actual coupon. And then you can put in there different things. You know, you can put like redeem this whenever you want five hugs, redeem this whenever you want to watch a movie, redeem this whenever you need help with doing laundry, redeem this whenever you want to go to a beach. And you put whatever is a different, different option. Or if you cannot do a coupon book and you have a jar, I have done this before, so an empty candle jar, um, you know, whenever the wax is all the way to the end, and sometimes I don't throw them because I use them for, for planters or all kinds of stuff. So if you do have any jar at home, an empty jar from a sauce jar, anything you have at home, and then just take pieces of paper and then write in there the, the coupon that you're, you're trying to, you know, to give to your mom and put it then, roll it in there and put it then in the jar. And then whenever she needs something, she wants something, she removes, she takes then the coupon that she wants and then gives it to you and that will be the redeemable coupon. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the different ideas that we shared today. We love you mothers. You are all amazing. Thank you so much for everything that you do for all of us and happy Mother's Day. I hope that you all have a great, great day and God bless you all. Enjoy the day, enjoy the miracles, and we will see you again in our next Tuesday video, which is going to be about our beautiful, amazing plant that I love so much, our red begonia. And it's amazing, so watch out for that video because I'm obsessed with that plant. So I'll see you again next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with everybody. I love you guys. Have an awesome day. Bye.